Magenta Glazed Terracotta. This Minecraft block is hated more than diorite. But why? Its texture points in all the right directions. It's bright enough to contrast any Minecraft build. And hey, check out the colour on that Minecraft block. Who could hate that shade of pink? And just quickly for those who aren't sure on how to make magenta glazed terracotta, to make this block in Minecraft, first you need to go find yourself some terracotta and mine that. Then you want to find yourself some alliums, as these can be used to turn into magenta dye. You'll also need some coal or another fire burning thing. And then once you've got a lot of terracotta and you dye, you can then dye your terracotta magenta. And then using the magenta terracotta, you put this into a furnace which creates the magenta glazed terracotta. Now I know what you're thinking. How am I even meant to build out of this? Well, I don't know what direction I was going for, but we've, we've got this house here. And yeah, there is a problem with it. A very big problem. This door doesn't quite go with it. So let's change that up. There we go. Perfect. And now that is a house you can be proud of. I hope you can detect the sarcasm in that though. Okay, jokes aside, this... <laughs> isn't isn't great but what you can use this glazed terracotta block for is signs for pointing people in different directions now this is quite a basic sign but you could make a more interesting sign by placing a fence post with a, a different color block of course maybe even if you give the block some edges and then if you place an item frame with the block in here you can change the direction of the block quite easily and even add a sign on the top just to let people know where to go and this this doesn't look too bad at all. Nudge, nudge. Now let's check out my real home using the glazed magenta terracotta. I'm not going to lie. This this was tough. This was a tough block to build out of. But we've, we've got some accents of this thing. I, I don't even know what you call it. Coving for the outside bit. And yeah, of course, I've gone for the pink theme. It's it's tough. But I th I th <laughs> this is about as close as I can get to using the magenta ter glazed terracotta. And it's actually looking semi-decent. And inside, I've not done any interiors yet, just so you can see the beautiful floor with all the arrows everywhere. Ain't it gorgeous? And then we've got the coving over the top here and these, these lights to bring it all up. But there's one other thing I think I can try. Custom trees. You all know how much I love a good custom tree. So I tried to make a big one with magenta blocks and this this just was not going well. I mean, I could not think of a decent design for the, the leaves using this, this arrow block thing in Minecraft until I considered what a tree actually should look like. And if you were building some kind of alien post-apocalyptic cyberpunk style thing, I think this, this could work. The, the lights and the, the magenta, the pink, the glowing, the it's yeah i i think this is definitely the way to go with it and i think that's probably the prettiest thing i can think of building out of the magenta glazed terracotta i don't know you guys let me know what you think in the comments also you can subscribe if you wish all in all i'm going to say it's a pretty terrible block and yeah i'm i'm not going to be using it again